One. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today we'll be learning about some fascinating techniques, so if you want to learn more, stay tuned. Three-point lighting is the standard lighting technique used with interviews. It has the power to transform an otherwise boring and flat image into a dynamic, interesting image with a subject that pops. The goal of three-point lighting is to create the illusion of three-dimensional subject in a two-dimensional image. While you can create dimension a number of different ways, three-point lighting is the lighting technique most commonly used. In what three, are the three-point lighting we're one. talking about? The key light, the fill light, and the backlight. The key light is the main light used on your subject. The fill light is the purpose of this light is to fill in the shadows created by the key light, preventing them from getting too dark. The backlight is used to separate the subject from the background. Action. Typically you may want to place the key light first because it's the main one and you use the rest of the lights to support the key light. The purpose of this key light is to put the light on the subject. You can place Stand it by. anywhere you want, but Three, a, a two, common placement one, is about action. 45 degrees to either side Pretend of the Pretend like you're doing something. And about 45 degrees no, uh, up Sierra. from the subject. Which side of the camera should you place it on depends on the look you are going for. Okay. To create a standard Marcella, you need to look between the light the and subject is facing in the frame. Put the key light on enough. the subject Stand the by. Camera. You can get as creative as you want with this. Try placing the key light at different uh -huh. angles and elevations. Action. You can put the key light off to the side of the subject, nearly straight on. Stand by the side three and two on half of the one. Face. This is called side lighting. Action because, well, they're lit from the side. If you're shooting a film, you might use side lighting to symbolically represent the conflict the character is feeling. You could and also three, try placing two, the key light at a high one, elevation one, and go higher above three, your subject's four. head, but pointing down toward your subject. This placement Stand would create three, deep shadows two, one, in action. their eye sockets, but it usually is undesirable look. But if you're trying to make the subject look sinister for some reason you might like this technique. Another frequent placement for a key light is behind the subject. This places the entire subject in shadow which we commonly call a silhouette. You can intentionally use this look to create a dramatic image to keep the subject anonymous or to de-emphasize the subject for whatever reason. Finally another common placement and the most boring is right in front of the subject. This light might be directly above the camera, pointing toward the subject. This is called flat video lighting. It appears to widen the face, fills in shadows, caused by wrinkles, and is the least dramatic style of lighting. This kind of lighting is sometimes called glamour lighting, because on models it can enhance the look of their face. When you turn on the light, the key light, and nothing else, you might find the overall look of the image is too dramatic and high contrast. There might be too many deep shadows. That's where the fill light comes in. The purpose of the fill light is simply to fill in the shadows caused by the key light. Place the fill light on the opposite Action. side of the camera from the key light. One thing to be cautious about, the fill light Cut. should not create a second Three, shadow. Two, if one. you see two shadows, that means the fill light is too powerful and needs to be reduced. You can reduce the light a number of different ways. Some lights can be dimmed, but it's more common that you need to either move the light and further from the subject or put scrims or diffusion material over the light. light. Go through. Two, three, you can also remove some bulbs or change the bulb to a less powerful one. Three scrims are designed two, to reduce one. the light without softening it. They basically look like a net three, made out two, of metal. One. You can also use neutral density gels to reduce light. These gels are semi-transparent gray sheets that you can put over the light to reduce the light without changing its color. Cut in three, You don't two, have to one. use a separate light as a fill light. You can simply use something that reflects light. Look at that. Go on. Bring it down. Bring it down here. Bring the light down. back mm -mm. towards the subject and into the shadows. This reduces the shadow's darkness and creates the same effect as a fill light. Common tools for this are reflectors and white foam core boards. But really, you could use any reflective material as a fill light. Just want to make sure that it doesn't introduce any color into the shadow and it doesn't reflect too much light. It's hard to go this. wrong with a fill light. 
Use it to fill in the shadows a little or a lot, depending on the look you are going for. Three, two, Last in our lineup one. is the backlight. Black lights you got to love. The glowing rim they create around the hair and shoulders of the subject. Many argue against using them because in real life, people don't walk around with glowing halo around their heads and shoulders. To create a backlight, put a light behind your subject using a suspended above their head and behind them so it points about 45 degrees down toward their hair and back. Three, two, Using one. barn doors on this light can be extremely helpful so you can control the direction of the light and prevent it from accidentally spraying light in the camera lens. The only place you want this light is on the head, neck, and shoulders of your subject. Perfect. Two, Four point one. Four-point lighting is at the root of most lighting setups for digital video or motion film. Three-point lighting is often discussed, especially as it relates to video interview setups and is a very common way of presenting lights. And in a sense, four-point lighting stems from similar principles. Though the names can be semantics, four-point lighting is often considered to have slightly different purposes than three-point lighting, and the exact positions and realities of the light you do use may be somewhat different. What four-point lighting and three-point lighting share in common is their basic lighting triangle. All three of them will employ a main light source called the key. The opposing light that also comes from the front will be the fill. Four-point lighting will be a little looser with this, mainly because four-point lighting is more responsive to the needs of dramatic narrative scenes. Both three-point lighting and four-point lighting will employ a backlight to hit the subject's head. The main light that differentiates a proper four-point lighting Stand setup by. and a three-point lighting setup One, two, is the three. background light. The background light is intended to give depth to the image by putting hey, some mixture of light and shadow on the wall behind the subject or subjects, making sure that there are several feet between the subject and the wall. Give the light like, that you are them. using okay, an so intermediary to alter You're not lighting. really talking there. Oh. A conventional use of this process okay. is to have the background light okay. from the four of the lighting setup. Do you want to do the right three three window? Three. So that a graphic of the window pane will be blasted onto the wall behind the subject. You can also try to use different nets, gels, or scrims to alter the background green. Four-point lighting essentially sets up a square approach, yet it tries to remain free and responsive to movement and changes. Four-point lighting is supposed to be the practical basis for most narrative film lighting, so you have the option to change it. There is no set rule for how four-point lighting must be set up, so you are going to have to adjust and readjust until you find what fits. Just like everything in video, the more you practice three and four point lighting, the more you'll learn how to use them and the more fun you'll have experimenting. Thank you Two, for watching. One.